Hello again, friends. Today we're talking about decibels, tenths, and hundredths models. So, so on the star test, and you know, throughout the year, you're going to have to deal with models of, of decimals, and that's what this video is going to teach you about. Anytime you have a square, a square is going to represent one, and you can think about this as a block. Okay, our number system is built built on base ten blocks or a base ten model. And so this square equals 1. Now, again, I always talk about money. What happens if you divide $1 into 10? You get 10 dimes. So this is 1 tenth, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, right? This whole column. 4 tenths, 5, all the way to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? You have 10 dimes equals one full dollar. Now, going back, check it out. This is a solid square. It's, it's, it's filled in. It's gray. Light gray, but it's gray. That equals one. So, oh. So this equals one. If, it, if we had 10 dimes in the whole chart, the whole square was filled in, well, that would be one, right? So we have vertical dimes, vertical columns or horizontal, it doesn't matter. When the square is divided into 10 rows or 10 columns, each row is one tenth. Okay, so how many tenths does this show? Look, I have two that are not filled in, so that's eight. This is eight tenths, okay? This is missing two tenths, so we don't have a full block. We don't have a full square. We have eight tenths. And I wanted to show you vertical or horizontal. It doesn't matter. This is eight tenths, right? Our decimal and our tenths. Okay. So now what happens if we add these two models together? We have, uh, wait, nine, nine tenths plus three tenths. Well, what's 3 tenths plus 9 tenths? That equals, we could move this one over here. And what do you get? 1.2. Yeah. So if we have 0, 0.9 plus 0.3, 9 plus 3 is 12. Drop my decimal, carry over 1. 1 1.2. It's pretty cool. So we're adding decimals with models here. Now, what does this picture represent? We have the full square. It's completely covered in. So this is 1.0. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ah, so this is 0.5. So together that equals 1.5. We have one and a half blocks. Okay, and here, again, simple. One whole block plus 0.2, two tenths, one tenth, two tenths equals 1.2. Perfect. Okay. So, we're looking at the square. Now, let's go from tenths to hundredths. I have dimes here. Dimes. And what do you have here? Pennies. Pennies. How many pennies are in a dollar? 100. Right? So, there's 100 little squares. There's 100 little pennies in this $1. That's pretty cool. So what does this model show? What is the value of this model? We have one, two, three, four, five dimes, and then three. So five dimes and three pennies, 0.53, right? So 53 cents, this is 53 hundredths, equals 53 out of 100. That's pretty cool, it's a fraction. Okay, so another another example. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seventy one, two, three, four. Seventy four hundredths. Because you have a hundred squares, and so we can count by 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 1, 72, 73, 74. Okay, maybe you don't have a lot of pennies. How many pennies do I have? I have one, two. 
I have two hundredths. This model shows two hundredths. So now we have a lot of pennies, right? We had two pennies before. Now check it out. If you have nine full columns, that would be 90 cents, right? Nine dimes. Well, you're minus one. So minus one, wouldn't that be 89 cents? So you have 89 hundredths. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. It's pretty cool. And again, you can add the models together. So we have a full solid model. That's one. And then we have uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5. One and 55 hundredths. A dollar and 55 cents. One and 55 hundredths. So let's, now we have four problems where we're going to do this. One equals the whole bar, right? The whole block. And then point four. One, two, three, four. Cool. It's that simple. So if you have to fill in the, your own model, let's look at this. 1.38. So I'll just... Again, 1.38, 1, 2, 30 cents, now 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 138. Alright, so 1.6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's that simple. Sometimes, You'll have a hundredths grid, but really you only need the tenths. That's okay. And then last, 193. One, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. One, ninety-three. All right. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Hope you, you better understand models, base 10 blocks. Uh, have a great day. We'll see you next time.